probably that big, I don't know if that helps. You just can't even see them, they're not red, they're skin coloured now and they're so tiny they just sit right in the crease so like people say, you can't even tell that you've had them done, which is nice. <laughs> See, you have to think of it as two different operations so they don't heal at the same time so when I woke up one day and one had dropped and one hadn't I was like oh my god but then you know we just think okay let's just let's give it time it's definitely the time as a healer 100% <laughs> I've looked at so many people's Instagrams where they'd said right this you know this is day 20 or whatever and one is up and one has dropped and no matter how many of those I looked at and I was told they're not going to heal at the same time it still didn't prepare me for it <laughs> it was quite funny though because it felt like the first sort of six weeks I was waking up with a completely different pair of boobs every day but it was quite funny <laughs> it, yeah it's really changed me as a person and how I think about myself and how I hold myself and um, not in just the way that I look or the things that I wear but it's just given me confidence to to walk around now and think actually you know if I can do this and if I feel this good about myself then if I take this leap of faith what's that going to do to help? So it's given me more confidence in quite a lot of aspects of my life actually. I definitely see cosmetic surgery in a completely different light to when, to previously. Um, I never saw it negatively but it's just completely opened my eyes to how good it can make you feel if you get something that you've wanted for so long. Um, like I'll go out now and wear high-waisted jeans and a little crop top and I'm not slim, you know, I'm a, I'm a nice curvy 14 but just to be able to go out and wear something like that that anybody else can wear and just feel amazing in it. And I went on holiday and had a little bikini on and I was just like, oh, look at this. <laughs> I've wanted to do like a vintage style photo shoot for years and years, but I would never want to because a lot of vintage stuff like this dress is quite low cut or you can get sort of halter neck stuff and it was just all something that I was never very confident with. So when we got there, I saw all these fabulous dresses and I had my hair and makeup done and I thought, God, this is just amazing and I, I look back at the pictures and I just I had a, a wiggle dress on at one point so I just had that the hourglass figure that I've always wanted and it's all just from you know a, a little bit of, of silicone which is fine <laughs> I've never no, never had a knee and whether that's been posted on my Instagram or Facebook all it's been is I can't believe they're not real, they look so grey. Uh, yeah, it's just all been positive. So when I think that there are some people getting this negative feedback, it really confuses me. Because I don't know why you wouldn't want to think, look at this person and how happy they are. Why would, I don't know why you'd want to tear that down. So I think that the stigma just needs to disappear and realise that it's not affecting anybody else. If getting big boobs or getting your nose done or anything makes you happy, I don't know why anybody wouldn't celebrate that. If you want to just, you know do it for you then it's not harming me if you do it so I just think I, I just the stigma just needs to disappear but I think it's going to take a lot of people to be open about it and not feel like they need to hide it.